Hello, welcome to another Sims 4 video. I'm an absolute mess. I am so sorry. I am really tired, suffering a teeny bit of sleep deprivation lately, and I had to run to get everything set up and move everything from homeschool mode to recording mode. So I'm a little bit of a sweaty mess. <laughs> My makeup could probably be a little bit better, especially this eyebrow. Like, for some reason in real life, the scar right here is completely covered. But on camera, you can see the scar. I don't know. It's This camera is so weird. It shows things that don't show up in real life. Let's get into the video because... It's an exciting one. So there was a Behind the Sims today, and they made a pretty big announcement. Remember in my uh, video about the kit leaks and how Simmatically uh, posted something on Twitter along the lines of, I know you're hungry for more, uh, big update coming or something or other, and when it didn't show up with the kits, we're like, okay, Okay, what did that really mean? Was it nothing? Was he just talking about the kits? Whatever. Well, now we know. So we're not going to sit here and go through the whole thing. We are going to go through some main points of it, though, real quick. Okay, stop right there. So, a stuff pack. A stuff pack. After all this time, a stuff pack. Like, really? Wow. Okay. From the title, we can guess that it, obviously it has to do with food. And because there's hustle in the title, we're going to guess that it has something to do with perhaps selling food, maybe? Or something along those lines? Let's watch. Artists and I were inspired by the beautiful kitchens in various areas of Europe and Refn shared with us from our EU teammates. We wanted to bring some new colors and fresh new objects in addition to our new appliances. Also ingenious things that we don't have here in North America, like a dish drain over nice. the sink. There is a whole lot of stuff in this stuff. I love those new kitchens. New appliances, new ways to make money, new ways of cooking, new BB, new casts, and so much more. Mm. Listing Yay. all here now would be a bit of a mouthful, but the team and I know the perfect feature to start with. When your sim wants something quick, but mm. delicious, for breakfast, brunch, or dessert, yes. the waffle maker is the perfect I love item. it! With this feature, That's a really good looking object. The style of waffle that I and some of my other teammates grew up with. It's a quite thin and crispy waffle, and it's usually made in a waffle iron that produces heart shaped waffles. We have included a variety of flavors, from some more typical Nordic inspired flavors, like cured fish and dill, to some more familiar to our North American friends, like chicken and waffles. We've added so many recipes from many cultures over the years. But over time, the recipe list has become a little trickier to use. So we've heard you and we've added filters to the base game recipe list. Great. So you can now Thank you. <laughs> finally. We were trying to bring together everything and categorize things in a way that made sense with the Sims traits and responses to the food in mind. The updated recipe UI isn't the only thing coming to the base game alongside this pack. Hashtag free the cupcakes. Get ready to cook cupcakes Yay! in the comfort of your own oven rather than the cupcake machine. For this pack, I mostly worked on cute accessories and casual clothes for your foodie sims. There's a whisk themed set of earrings and necklace. I'm really fond of this jumpsuit combo I made because it's definitely That's something cute. I would wear in real life. We've had so much fun developing this pack and we have put a lot of heart into each of its features. We hope you enjoy the experience of becoming a home chef. Thank you so much for tuning into our first look. And now, here's a little sneak peek. Seneca, Belindy. No! No way! Oh, I love that! Okay, tune in September 14th. Waffles, so good! It looks like pancakes. Not you, Bob. <laughs> I'm finally getting the competition they deserve. The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle trailer revealed this Thursday, September 14th, oh. at the Pacific on the Sims YouTube channel. Yes, okay, I will be and here for it. Not just yet. This season is all about the hustle. So the team has been bustling to not only deliver a new stuff back, but provide a bit more to the list of content this season. Check it out. <laughs> Embrace the hustle and bustle. Okay. Uh, uh, 
What? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I did not watch this whole thing through yet. So I saw the first part. I lost my mouse. <laughs> I saw the first part and I got super excited. Stuff pack. But I didn't get to watch the rest of it because homeschool. So wait, embrace the hustle and bustle. One tasty stuff pack. Okay, that that's the, the cooking one that we just saw. One neighborly expansion pack. What? What? What is that? What is it going to be? What does that mean? Obviously neighbors. <gasps> Could we be getting more apartments and or townhouses? I wonder if that's going to be a thing. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm excited. And more, more, more. Can we see more? Do we see any hints? We see a lot of food and then the keys. The keys with a keychain with a house. Doesn't tell us too much, does it? No. Um, I'm not seeing... Did I miss anything? Okay, so this is the roadmap for September to December. For this one, they're just going into the lore of Johnny Zest. And they don't really give us any information. They just reiterate questions that we all have already had, thought of, discussed, whatever. Is he the long lost son of, you know, they say Nancy, but why can't it be the long lost son of Jeffrey, right? Like, why, why is that not a thing? They only mention Nancy, as far as I remember seeing this little part here. Uh, but they don't really give us any more information. They do hint that we could potentially be getting more information in the future, though. And they do go a little bit into the lore and family history of the land grabs, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So in Sims Mobile News, they are getting some Halloween stuff in. They are doing a 100 years of Hollywood celebration and they've got a new story. Something about a garden gnome and an unhappy couple. And then they mention for The Sims Free Play, the recent pastel update, and they are celebrating the Day of the Dead. So they're getting a whole lot of Day of the Dead related items obviously cast items but also furniture build by items and stuff like that so that's really exciting too and the thing we're all waiting for all the time so we intend for project renee to be free to download and that means that when it's ready and fully open to our players you'll be able to join and play and explore project renee without a subscription without core game purchase or energy mechanics so we want it to be easy for you to invite or join with a friend, and that means extending an open invitation for everyone to play. Really bombastic side eye. We're developing this game. Until this moment, the whole free to play thing, I didn't care about. It didn't really sink in. Like, yeah, okay, free to play. Pally is free to play. Dreamlight Valley is going to be free to play any minute here. Um, even the beginning of World of Warcraft is free to play. Uh, a lot of games are going free to play. I don't see a problem with that. I mean, if you think about it, someone figured it up on Twitter, I think it was, that if you've bought all of the packs and everything for The Sims 4, you've spent over a thousand dollars over the last 10 years. I don't think free to play games are any more expensive than that. You're getting the game for free and you're getting most updates and stuff for free in a lot of these games. And so playing for some exclusive excuse me, paying for some exclusive and premium items, like, I don't see the problem in that, necessarily. But then the way she said that just now, the way she said that it was going to be completely free, no subscriptions, nothing, it dawned on me that that is such a dramatic shift from the way The Sims franchise has always gone. Maybe it's just the change rather than the thing itself. The free-to-play model is not what bothers us. It's the fact that it's such a huge, enormous, enormous 
deviation from the way this franchise has been up until this point that it it's the change that bothers us maybe i don't know that it did strike me as weird listening to it put that way just now but i i don't know i my feelings aren't complete yet i haven't completely thought this through i've mostly been focusing on the part where it'll be multiplayer. I have not always wanted The Sims to be multiplayer. For a very, very, very long time, I was happy that The Sims was single player. I loved it that way. I never wanted it to change. And then as I got older and I started playing games with my daughter and my nieces and even sometimes my nephew, I have wanted, and my sister too, I can't, I can't forget her. She has been, she was my first player too or was I her first player too? Hmm. But we've been playing games together since we were little and uh, I, I obviously can't forget her, but we've, we've been wanting to play this stuff more and more together, definitely as we've gotten older and as we've had kids and they've joined in in our gameplay uh, endeavors. It's more fun to play with other people. Are there moments that I'm absolutely like, yes, I just want to play in a game alone and have complete and total control? Sure. But the idea of sharing those experiences with other people and and sharing that fun with other people, that's what gets me. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm about right now in this phase of my life. So I'm kind of stuck on the yes, multiplayer aspect, even though most of the Sims community, at least the part of the Sims community that's on Twitter anyways, uh, which is a, a very, very tiny part of the community, um, are very much against the multiplayer and the free-to-play model. I don't know. Maybe I'm an outlier. Maybe it's a hot take. But I'm kind of looking forward to the change a little bit, but also scared of the change because what does this mean for the game that I've known since the year 2000? Like, I've been playing pretty much since it was released, and this is a dramatic change for this series, this franchise. So those are just some of my thoughts on the issue. Well, beyond regular updates to the core game, we will sell content and packs, but we want to change that mix a little bit. So let me give you a theoretical example. In The Sims 4, the only way to experience any weather was if you purchased seasons, right? Now in Project Renee, we might introduce basic weather to the core game for free for everybody. And then a pack for purchase might be focused on winter sports and could include activities like ice dancing or a snowman building competition. So building this way means that down the line, we could use wind or rain or clouds for other pack themes as well. Now it's a little early to know exactly where we'll draw the lines, but it's important for us to lower those barriers to play and give everyone the broadest shared systems because that feels like the best foundation to grow from. That's really interesting. I will definitely need to think about this some more and I'll need to review this all again on the Sims new- I feel like they are taking some of our thoughts and feelings and concerns into consideration here. We have always said that some of these things like weather should be base game, not an expansion pack. Weather is just a natural part of life and this is a life simulation so weather should just be there, period. And then the other stuff that comes along with weather related activities will be the premium content or the pack content newsroom shout out to that team for the recap so as we shared last time we are still exploring a lot of different ideas and we haven't settled on all the details of everything but it's important for us to keep sharing so stay tuned for more updates as we go this is a top secret announcement the sims is officially putting out merch you know so you can show off merch. looks while showing the world your simmer status now, you know that I already know. And no, this won't be like past and We're taking it slow to give you the merch you deserve, so it'll be available later this year. But while we're here, let's take a little peek, shall we? Om glad. It's the perfect <laughs> gift for that special someone. You know, Nancy doesn't do cheap, so this is going to be well made. Someone give you the mother low cheat. Interesting. <laughs> I swear, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs>
shopthesims.com. Okay, so new merch. Nice. I'm not even going to try to speculate at what that merch was. That was really interesting and strange and unusual, but I'm excited. Anyways, thank you for watching my reaction and thoughts and feelings and sort of mini recap of the Behind the Sims. I'll be back in a couple of days with that, what, what was it, a trailer for the new stuff pack? I think that's what it was. I'll be back in a couple of days to also react to that. Until my next sims 4 video or whatever i upload next i'll see you later bye